question. Are the allegations accurate? Our data bash is out on the campaign trail in Iowa watching all of this unfold. Uh, Romney clearly is turning up the heat on Huckabee, Dana. He is. You know, it's interesting, Wolf. Mitt Romney had a town hall meeting here in eastern Iowa today. He met for about 45 minutes with Iowa Republican voters. He didn't even mention the name Mike Huckabee. He said the tough, stu tough stuff for us at a press conference afterwards. The Republican who led Iowa polls for months is now casting himself as the underdog. And Mike Huckabee? He's the front runner. And so I, I want to describe uh, how, we're, how we're different on issues that people care about. A day after a remarkably low-key debate, Romney launched his most aggressive critique of the candidate who has knocked him off stride. The more people come to know Mike Huckabee, the more they realize they don't know about Mike Huckabee. A rapid-fire attack on Huckabee's record as Arkansas governor on in immigration. Iowa, governor Huckabee put in place uh, in-state tuition breaks for illegal aliens. On taxes. Governor Huckabee has increased taxes in his state by $500 million. On spending. Governor Huckabee as governor took spending from $6.7 billion to over $16 billion. That is not a fiscal conservative. On crime. Over a thousand pardons and commutations, 12 murderers being pardoned. I, I think people of Iowa will say that's unacceptable. To fact check, Huckabee did push college tuition breaks for children of illegal immigrants. You don't punish a child for the crimes that a parent commits. And that's my position. Hadn't changed. Huckabee did increase spending to fix schools and roads and has a mixed record of raising and lowering taxes. He left office with an overall tax increase of $505 million. Huckabee's clemency record? He did issue 1,033 pardons or commutations in 10 years as Arkansas governor, double the number of clemencies by his three predecessors combined in 17 years. At Huckabee headquarters, his upstart campaign scrambled to respond to such attacks, with prominent Arkansas Republicans vouching for him. Mike Huckabee is as conservative and as committed to the principles of Ronald Reagan as uh, any candidate in, in this race. Huckabee's understaffed and underfunded campaign is really struggling with how to respond to this new intense scrutiny of his record. Huckabee himself declined to respond uh, to Romney today, particularly uh, the suggestion that his clemency record in Arkansas means that he is soft on crime. Wolf, a Huckabee campaign spokeswoman, tells CNN we're not going to talk about that, but they do know that they're going to have to continue to talk about a whole host of issues that are coming up again and again and again from Huckabee's past. And they're, not, and they're not going to be going away, presumably, uh, over these three weeks before the Iowa caucuses. Dana, thanks very much. Just a short while ago, as you saw live here on CNN, the Democratic presidential candidates, six of them, finished their last debate before Iowa's caucuses. Here to talk about that and more in our strategy session, two Democratic strategists, Stephanie Cutter is here, our own CNN political analyst, Donna Brazil. Both of you have worked closely in campaigns. You were Al Gore's campaign manager back in 2000, 2004. You worked for John Kerry. So you know what, what goes on inside these campaigns. When Bill Shaheen, the co-chair of Hillary Clinton's campaign in New Hampshire, now says he's leaving uh, because of the comments he made raising questions about the electability of Barack Obama because of uh, drug use uh, when he was a teenager. How does that work, uh, Donna? Is that just Bill Shaheen making that decision? Or in effect, is he pushed out by Hillary Clinton? Well, Bill Shaheen was on, on a conference call trying to uh, build up this argument about Senator Clinton's electability. And then he got into this conversation about Barack Obama. His comments were uh, offensive. Barack Obama has been very candid about his drug use as a teenager. And he's also been very upfront saying that it was wrong and it was, it was a mistake. And he's, tell, he's told that to young audiences across the country. The Clinton campaign had to re respond. They did the right thing. And, and Billy Shaheen, we both know Billy. You can't control Billy Shaheen. And I hope it has no impact on his wife's campaign for the United States Senate. Gene Shaheen, the former governor mm -hmm. of New Hampshire. It's a powerful yes, couple Senate. up in uh, New Hampshire. What do you think? Uh, was he pushed out or did he just make this decision given the uproar? Well, I, I, who knows? Uh, but the, the point is that it, we do both know Billy Shaheen and he is a, a top-notch operative in New Hampshire. And he's got good instincts. Uh, and I think his instinct was right here to resign from the campaign over these remarks. They were very damaging um, in, in terms of the storyline that is ongoing on Hillary Good Clinton. Good instincts to, to step away. Bad instincts to raise this issue in a conversation with a reporter from absolutely. the Washington but, Post. But they essentially put an end to it today. Here are the results uh, of our 
uh, uh, unscientific focus group. You saw Mary Snow earlier mm -hmm. out in Iowa. She had uh, a bunch of uh, Democrats, likely caucus goers, undecided going into this debate. And we asked them, all of them, if the election were held today, who would you vote for? Let's put up on the screen their results. The Edwards won with 39 percent. Obama came in second, 26 percent. Clinton, 22 percent. Dodd, Richardson, and Biden each with four percent. Uh, I was sort of surprised that Edwards did that well, but he's got a huge base out there.